Ta-da. <laughs> okay, we're a bit glow worm. We are just going to have to deal with it because yeah. that's how it is today. We got we here too late. Well, we got right where we needed to be. I'd mm. love you to say more about what you were saying in the car about the oils and how you use them. All right, well, that was the end of the conversation. The okay. beginning of the conversation mm. was... Louise does Young Living and I do doTERRA and there's a lot of information on the internet that's poo barring both of them. The integrity of the companies basically. It's 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 yeah, attacking the characters of the people and mm. um, attacking the integrity of the company. Mm. Not but the quality of the oils. That I don't think anyone no. really diminishes the quality of the oils because both brands have high quality oils. Mm. They yeah. do. But I just, yeah, I think sometimes they, yeah, they are just talking about the CEOs and et cetera, et cetera, as people are want to do. But so I had to put that somewhere. I had to process that information because when I touch them and when I think about them, my hands get hot, which is a really strong indication that my intuition and my higher self and my healing ability is telling me that they're worthwhile and there's something that I should be working with. And I feel like I've um, experienced the oils working with me, like alongside my process. I don't even know. I'm still distilling what my own process is and it's ironic I pulled one of my things, distilling the essence, because I feel like I'm still walking a journey to distill the essence of what it is that I do with my gifts and what it is I or how it is I use all the tools at my disposal and all the tools that I've used on myself. Um, you know, I'm still kind of figuring that out. And so it's it's uncanny when I'm doing things with different people. Like there's been times where my hands have shot out and picked up an oil and the effect that that oil has had on the process we've been running has just been kaboomba. It's multiplied the intensity of that process. And, you know, I just feel like I had an experience last night and... You know, I'd gone home, left a box of oils I had home and taken back a bag of oils with me and the very oils in that bag were perfect for moving the person through the different areas that they were moving through mm. and I was actually asking the oils for help to address things like you could feel where there was entities and there was things going on with this person and it was totally, you know, there was backup needed somewhere and the oils were just like, duh, 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 like some little sidekick off to the side there. <laughs> Yeah. Going, yeah, well, come on, let's go in there. We're going to go all the way in now and everyone's going to be looked after in that process. Yeah. So I feel like, feel like they've got a life of their own in the healing processes as well. Mm. Even it, somewhere more, I don't know what it is because it feels like they've got an energetic of their very own. They do and I think that's what helped me figure out what I'm here to do. When I'm working with the, the oils, I realised holy crap, it's about frequency. And that's exactly what I do is I work with people's frequencies. And that helped me connect creative therapy, uh, the T for two, which is the informal counselling. Uh, it helped me connect the working with kids, um, the energy work that I do, which is not Reiki but it's similar. Um, and a whole heap of other things that I do, it's all about frequency and my obsession with neurobiology and the immune system and understanding how uh, the biomolecular, biomolecular system functions from the moment we think a thought or put an item in our mouths to digest, I want to know what the effect is. And that journey of me figuring that out has also led me parallel through the gifts that I have, which are all about frequency and that's the, even the channeling work that I do with the guides, people's guides, when I have an empathic experience, when I'm having a therapeutic session with someone, I tune into what their guides are saying and I feed back that information generally in questions to the person and that's helping that person shift from their own and their own intuition. I'm not telling them something from my personality but the oils tie that all together so the idea that your the frequency of your emotions of your psychology of your immune system 
of your higher self, of um, your intuition, are all connected, comes back to these products and they can facilitate a shift on any one of those levels. Yeah? Totally. And so we just, um, I don't know, I guess I just went down that path around the oils because we're really keen to share them with people mm. and both of us use them in several of the different processes and several of the different ways that we work. And, yeah, so we'd love to put it out there that we'd love you to have an experience with or, with oils and we'd love to open you up to the different ways they can be used emotionally, physically, um, mentally even, Um and so we'd love you to have an experience with them and just go with what feels right for you. Mm -hmm. And you can do a lot of research on the internet and you can try, you know, finding out all the ins and outs of how it works, which Mel's a real um, detailed person. She loves finding out why and how. and Detail. That's what. a nice way of saying that I'm a bit anal about information. Yeah. It's not even anal, though. <laughs> it is. It's just It's completely specific, whereas I yeah. am completely non-specific. If someone says something, I'll go, oh, yeah, good, you know. Yeah. Whereas Mel will want to know the exact detail of how something you know triggers a reaction in something yeah. else and boom 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 without the proof or without the it, it's the lineage the I wanna... lineage she won't you know won't buy it until yeah. she's got all the bits in place <laughs> whereas I'm just like yeah feels good let's do it <laughs> well also because I think not just it's not about my confirmation so much because I know when I hold them I have a physical reaction. The reason I want that information is so I can work with people who operate from that space. Mm -hmm. So if someone comes to me and they say, I went to my GP and they said this or I had a look at this disorder I'm meant to have and it says this about my brain chemicals, I want to be able to translate that biomedical information into frequency and using the oils and other methods so that people take it as genuine hard facts it's not airy fairy it's just going to make you feel good um even though it is going to make you feel of good. course i mean but that's part of it and back you up um but it's also just to, to sell it as as an alternative to allopathic medicine all allopathic medicine has a side effect this stuff is just going to raise your vibration Mm. I just think if you can get to the core and it, it links all the things together, allopathic medicine will only focus on one. And I'm not saying that it's going to replace it completely. I'm just saying that as an alternative, as a support, like you say, a support system, there's that those oils there to back you up when mm. you need them. Um, you can have them there as your primary family health care and then when you need to go to the dentist or when someone has something that you can't necessarily cope with, yeah. um, a major grief and loss situation that you need some support, you have to go and get a, a counselling situation with somebody, then go and do that. But I just think to start with, if we can be a little bit more empowered, be our own health guru and know a bit more about how our system works why our body is reacting and that the demands that we're putting upon ourselves are not things that we need to medicate perhaps the relationship between what we think is acceptable the strain on our bodies and our mentality and our families and our time needs to change more than the medicating so that we can push through and get everything done and I think the oils help us transform into a lifestyle that's has more respect for us as individuals and one of the first things you'll notice too with the oils is um that self-awareness coming in I know one of the first reasons I started using the oils was because I wanted to upgrade my lifestyle and I wanted to treat myself better and I wanted to take create situations where I was taking time to give myself space for self-care and to treat myself with quality things, like to really treat myself like I was someone very special in my life. I spend my whole life looking after other people and treating them like they're incredibly special and bending mm. over backwards to let them know they're loved. But the amount of time and input and energy I was putting in on my own self-care was very limited. Mm. And so to have access to these things, that Maharani's and Queen's and 
only the wise herbal women had access to in the old days mm. and they're the quality of those things. It was just like, oh, yeah, I deserve that. So yeah. it was a real um, amping up of my vibration of deserving mm. and that was the real intention behind my using the oils initially. Mm. And then I started realising all the other benefits and particularly for me around the, the metaphysical stuff, the emotional states, the ability to affect mental, you know, when it's, you know, extreme mental health things, definitely go see a doctor mm. or whoever you need to see. <clears throat> but I think there's a, there's a lot more space for us to go in there with people when we feel protected to mm. let them have their madness mm. and let them walk out the other side of it with their own understanding of what occurred. Mm. But sometimes we're the ones who are scared to go in there and mm. we don't feel protected because there's a lot of energies kicking around. So um, the oils are beautiful shields they are beautiful energetic shields with no side effects mm. and they enable you to be in close with a person and be able to hear them out and hear all the madness in them but keep um quite grounded in your own understanding mm. so i found them you know for many reasons very powerful tools mm. and, yeah we'd love you to have an experience of that mm. so we encourage you we've got a couple of links on the pages and one is the young living oils that i do and one is the doTERRA oils and we encourage you to experiment in any way you like with yeah. all of them because they're so much fun and they all smell beautiful and they all evoke we all have such strong memories from smell of you know so many things and been. they're instant i think what you realize is that you have an immediate reaction it's really beautiful and they can replace very simple things like if you get to three or four o'clock in the afternoon and you get quite exhausted mm -hmm. uh, instead of putting caffeine in which will just drain your adrenals and you'll want to go to sleep anyway uh, peppermint oil is fantastic and it just it gives you that perk that you need at three o'clock in the afternoon just to get everything done um, I mean, you can't keep pushing it, so you you wouldn't do that at 11 o'clock at night so that you can push through until 3 in the morning. You'd want to change something in your life uh, if that was happening. But it's great for 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Very, very simple things that you can replace some of the other items which you fall back on as tools to get you through. Um, and that's why me and Mel are probably still here talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> we had a bunch of <laughs> fun this afternoon. <laughs> That's so right. enjoy your oils and yep. have a beautiful day. Thanks for listening.